Oh, ho, ho. it's a chilly one, it's a chilly one. Oh, you know, today, I kind of see what our wives go through when they're trying to get the kids ready and they run around with their heads cut off. This morning, got to grab the food. Mama Cornstar had everything made, so I got to give her credit. Sandwiches and everything were in the fridge, but still, I had to take them out of the fridge, throw them in the little lunch bucket. My glasses are tinted right now and I can't see very good. I got a vehicle behind me, better not back into it. Got a vehicle behind me, better not back into it. But then I started thinking this morning, I run outside, it is a little bit chilly out. Run back in the house, grab a sweatshirt. And then I start down the driveway. I forgot the water jug, so I had to run back and grab the water jug. Then I needed a battery for my camera. Just all these little things and I'm thinking, you know what? I shouldn't even be complaining because look at all these mothers that have one, two, three, four, five kids or whatever. They're taking care of the kids and they're loving them and they're making stuff for their husbands to take to work for lunch, whatever. I shouldn't be complaining at all, but man, it took some time. It took time to get ready. Hold on, we gotta pull over for a second. I gotta put my seatbelt on before we go to the main road. I got a few different neighbors that are police officers and stuff, so don't wanna meet them on the road and them looking at me like, this little girl drinks a lot of fuel in a day. We gotta fill it up again. I think while we're here, we'll go ahead and fill her up too, but let's run out here i'm hoping there isn't too much dew on the beans last night it got down to 54 degrees so there might be a little bit of dew and i can just tell by looking at them see how when they're they're moist they will not crack out of the pod you can squeeze them remember some of the videos where you just touch them and they shatter that one is not but the sun is coming out where is she at me at I don't know who right there we'll get rid of them clouds but the sun's coming out there is a light breeze well you heard them crack once but he oh, just not the bean itself is good and hard so we're just got to wait for the dew to burn off i actually think the dew will burn off probably in the next it may take an hour and a half or so but we have a few things i'm going to fuel up the combine fuel up the tractor here stretch my bones kind of enjoy Make sure I don't hit the fan up there. <laughs> I would chop my little hair a little bit. When them blades are down, straight down, if I remember right, there's like 110 or 120 feet from the very bottom to the ground. So the biggest question we get with the windmills, airplanes can't spray, helicopters can't spray. That's all not true. We call in, we don't, but if you've got an airplane spraying, they call in to the windmill people, let them know, hey, we're planning on spraying. So if the planes are going this way, they'll actually line them blades up the same way the plane's going. They shut them off. They don't mind shutting them off at all. And actually the planes that I've talked to, they're like, we don't mind spraying around them. We can see them things. It's the high lines and stuff like that down low where they're actually at. Them things, they can fly right underneath them. And if they can't see that great big white pole sticking out of the ground, they shouldn't be flying a plane, right? I'm running the cart right now. I'm stopped waiting for a load of beans. The little puppy decided she's gonna take a nap. So she's got her head body right underneath the clutch. So I don't know how she thinks I'm gonna take off when I need to go. One thing I did remember today in the lunchbox, I threw little Ellie some treats in there so we can have some lunch together. What do you think, Ellie? Are we in the old Freightliner? <laughs> it might be an oldie, but it's sure a good one. We really like it. You know, like these old semis, they might be old, but from when I was growing up, from a little tractor and no cab, and pulling a couple little wagons behind, you thought you had a big load when you were hauling 225 bushels in a wagon, and you had two of them put together, and if you pull across the scale, and you had 500 bushels on, you were like, oh, wow. And now you jump in a nice, well, to me, it's a nice cab. Getting out of the dust and stuff is like, this is really nice, but you know, it's kind of what we grow up with or what we're used to. So I guess what I'm getting at, 
to me as long as it runs good and it's safe for the road and it gets me to a to b i am all right with that i better go catch cole he's clear down the other end he's gonna be yelling for you dad i'm full i'm full you're making me sit oh, i don't even pay attention come on girl come on let's go i'm going i'm going sometimes you just gotta put a little peanut butter on her Tell her to move it. I don't know how well. Look at the big old shadow. Hey, shadow, you following me? But well, we gotta go a little bit slower. Let me slow the tractor down so you can kind of see them. We're running into uh, some beans here that are green, but the pods are all brown. It's kind of the weirdest, nerve wracking things a farmer could have right now. Now I got Cole coming up here beside me. I wanna get one more hopper full before. See the auger back there. There he goes. All right, now we gotta go down to the truck and unload, get out of Cole's way here. One thing about doing beans, when you're the green cart driver, sometimes you just sit around waiting for a load of beans. Field we're in, they're doing really good, I guess, but they got a lot of green stems. Green stems pull harder, so pulling harder, you gotta slow the machine down. That means I just sit here going, oh, when's the next load? You could almost go stir crazy out here. Trying to look around, keep your eyes open. Eyes get tired. Right now, for some reason, I'm thinking homemade pudding. Cooper wanted to get a nice load on here this time where he's unloading. He said it's not the friendliest spot, so he's hoping to make it worth his while this time. If you watch there, you see the little thing coming up, the numbers? It opens up the slide gate in the uh, V13 Brent cart here. Put a little extra in here. Get this cart filled up and get out of here. Little Lily's just kind of taking it easy. I did bring some treats for her today. She knew they were in the bag earlier and she ripped into it while I was out of the cab once. Right now, we are just, just getting started on corn. Just getting a good run, trying out the new corn here. Got a auger where the belt's slipping or plugging in that. Nesting might have wrapped around something too. Ain't like there, where'd the bird get in? There ain't a lot of room. Guess it's a good thing we waited till daylight to start it. Huh, where did the little bugger get in at? Oh, around the pulley there on top. Oh man, glass is dark and I can't see. This is one reason why we kind of turn auger on each individual. You ready? That way we can make sure everything's working. What been, what been? We're gonna make sure she didn't blow a fuse somewhere. Squeaking away on the dryer here before we, well, we're trying to get corn into it, but one of them days, everything is not working quite how we want it. Sounds like Cole's got Wade coming out, electrician, and see if we can figure out what is causing our fill auger for not kicking in. Turn on one tank right now, just make sure the burners are kicking in. Okay. We'll leave that one off for a little bit. Let's go see if we got a flame and everything working. Since Wade's coming out, let's make sure. Come on, old girl. You can do it. I have faith in it. The old flame, and let's hope you'll hear a woof pretty soon. I think the flame just kicked in. Well, there we go. 9.30 at night. We're getting one more load. Looking good, looking good. 